Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Well, it won't be that quick, but it's a love reading. Uh, we're going to ask a few questions. Um, how does your person that you're coming to the reading for, how they feel about you, how you feel about them? Um, what's the advice for you in regards to dealing with them? And what's the potential outcome if you take the advice of the cards? So let's go ahead and jump into it. How is your person feeling toward you? How do they feel about you? Okay. How does Taurus person feel about them? Okay. All right. So, how they feel about you? The Three of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Hierophant. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus like yourself. A Libra. And maybe even a Gemini. Um, they, they have probably already communicated that they feel heartbroken. They feel like, you know, maybe you guys need to separate. There needs to be a divorce that happens here. Um, there could have been a lot of arguing, heavy arguing. Uh, in regards to something or someone else interfering in the relationship here. How they feel about you is um, confused. They're trying to protect themselves. Um, this could have been about money also. This could be about siblings, family members. Just how you, you grew up or how they grew up. This came up as an issue in regards to the relationship. How they feel about you is um, you're very grounded. You're staying in your energy. You're not being moved. Um, you're up for the fight if they want to verbally argue or whatever. Um, they feel like maybe you're the one causing the issue, the prop, the problems, the drama. Um, you're the one who is, uh, and this is how they're seeing you. Doesn't mean that it's true. Um, they feel like you're the one that put them out. You're the one that um, told them that you don't want to be in this. Or maybe by your actions or your reactions to things. Some of you are realizing that you don't want to be, a, that this person is realizing they don't want to be with you. Or vice versa, that maybe you guys are not uh, like-minded. Uh, maybe you guys aren't even friends. Um, they're saying we need to either divorce, separate, and they may be of two minds about that. But we we need to get under some type of agreement. Um, I'm hearing who's the head of the house. Some of you that could have been an issue, or is an issue here. You guys have opposing like opportunity or opposing uh, goals here. You guys are, are someone feels like they're in competition with you or vice versa. Um, yeah, this person feels like you're in competition with them or vice versa. Um, let's see how you feel about them, Taurus. The alien. So it could be a Virgo. Um something about money somebody wants to do something with money or someone is making all the money I don't know um, how you feel about them Taurus So you feel like there's a lot of distance and someone may be doing something behind their back, maybe even in regards to money or, or you know, readying themselves for an ending or for something to end here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, you, f you feel like um, they're only working for themselves or on themselves. They're not working on this marriage. You, could, you guys could have gotten married later in life. Like this, you weren't young, young when you married. Um, you feel like this person is um, working towards their own goals. They're doing something behind your back. 
it may be even in regards to money like they can they you know always they're on a cycle of putting something maybe even money resources they put it over here you know they always put the money over here they don't put it in in the household they don't they're out for themselves you feel like they have a secret plan about how they can be single or how they can be by themselves or how they can make this work for themselves they're very smart you feel like they're very smart um culture travel they're um very knowledgeable you feel like they are secretly working for themselves on themselves like they something's on a cycle where every month every week they put something somewhere money resources i don't know um but it's not in the home it's not in the connection it's like they're building their own 401k they're building their own uh nest egg um um they're building their own uh retirement plan um or they're they're getting their money in secret or some some extra money inheritance or i don't know you just feel like they're doing something for themselves completely to make themselves independent more financially independent um let's see what the advice is for you Taurus. what's the advice for Taurus in regards to dealing with this person what's the advice the queen of swords the ace of cups Star man. Okay, so whatever you're trying to manifest here, you need to manifest it. You need to put yourself first. You need to, how you need to come off to the world is loving yourself, reinventing yourself to the out, you know, from the outside in or the inside out. But you need to put yourself first. You need to put love for self first. And you need to, um, First of all, you need to cut out all that is not going to get you to um, what's your object here. If your object is to have a successful, happy home, you need to cut out things that won't get you that. Maybe even people. You need to put yourself first. You might have been self-sacrificing in a connection putting others first doing for others making sure that the greater good of the home and the foundation of stability of you may be you may have been carrying all the weight it says put yourself first you have the um you have the opportunity you have also all the resources to manifest the life that you want. Speak it into existence. Do what you need to do in regards to have whatever it is you want. Um, use your words. Uh, something about your manifestation powers here. You need to reinvent yourself. This person that says the advice for you is to to be wise. Listen to others' opinions, but you don't have to take it as as the newfound gospel is not, you know, valid. All opinions aren't valid. It says you need to put more energy, effort into yourself. Um, start doing for self here. That's uh, primarily what it's saying. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. The Two of Wands. Yeah, you need to let, let that old way of existing, of being, maybe even partnership, you need to let it die. Um, you, you have to choose yourself this time. What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups? 
the four of swords yeah so you need to stop and think how you can uh, listen to your intuition how you can be better how you can get what it is you want what you're praying for what you're manifesting what you're hoping and wishing for um, you need to take some time out for yourself to actually rest relax King of Wands. Some of you want to be entrepreneurs. Or you want to do your own thing. You want to be more attractive. You want to manifest more. You want to get more into those manifestation powers. You need to do your research about it in order to to um, bring that into yourself. Some of you are just really needed to put a lot of energy, effort, time into yourself. Um, you need to save your money. You need to save your resources so you can get where you want to be. Let's see what you should be focused on moving forward. Um, some of you are not resting. You need to rest. You need rest and, recru and recuperation. You need to put yourself first. I've said it like four or five times. Um, yeah, this is definitely you needing to stop trying to think for the whole and, and right now right now not always but think for yourself right now and do things for yourself finances yeah you need to be concerned about your finances uh changing your mind about maybe staying in something support Maybe you are very supportive or there are others who will help support your decision memories. Maybe that's what keeps you tied to an old way of being. We got windfall coming in for you, leaving in heavenly signs. Um, some of you, yeah, it's about leaving an old way, leaving here. Telling this goodbye, telling this person goodbye in this relationship leaving an old way of being you know putting the husband the man the children the everything else before yourself essentially breaking down or eventually lashing out put yourself first okay Okay, Taurus, if you feel like it resonated for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Uh, thank you, Taurus. Uh, many blessings to you. I hope you're safe, healthy, and doing well. If you feel, if you have a question or two, you can always text the number below. Uh, take advantage of that. Um, thank you. Take care. See you next time.